here in the middle of the season. These teams really coming into their own right now. They found their identity and know what they're all. And the Bulls making a change here. MP's checked in. On the court right now for Dallas. Manning the backcourt, it'll be Doncic and Dinwiddie. Maxi Kleba out there with Dwight Powell. And it's Hardaway in at the three spot. Like saying Powell flexes muscle on the defensive end. Really good at timing his jump to block the shot. And now they've got to be careful at the defensive end. They're over the limit much earlier than they should be. Back on draft night 2017, the Bulls trading away their star, Jimmy Butler. And, and what a haul they got from Minnesota. Zach Levine, the headliner, and he's turned out to be a franchise player. It's tough to win one of those type of deals, but Chicago got a stud. Doncic on the wing. Back to Powell. Down to five on the shot clock. Kicks it to Doncic. Three-pointer, no good. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Here's MP. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. That's where they'd like all their shots to come from. Here's Doncic. Six points for him. Dinwiddie outside. Outside, green. Pass to Kleba. Now Doncic. He's guarded by Caruso. Clock at six. Dinwiddie passes to Green. Fires from deep. Oh, some solid D from DeRozan. Chicago trailing here. That one's in there. Drummond with the assist. DeRozan's got his second bucket on the night. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. Dinwiddie, no good. Chicago with the ball. Big run right now for him, 11-2. Step back and fire. It's hauled in by Luka Doncic. And he's having an ugly quarter from the field. And seems really frustrated. Pass to Dinwiddie. Back to Doncic. And Doncic hammers it home. Doncic doing a nice job showing you some sneaky explosion and athleticism on that throwdown. Here's DeRozan. Down low. Here's MP. And the lamp is good off the glass. MP's got six. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Dinwiddie outside. Caruso against Doncic. Pass to Kleba from the arc. Rebound by the Bulls. Chicago with the ball. They're on a 13-4 run. Here's DeRozan. Back to MP. Two minutes remaining in the first. Oh, he nails that one. Three for four now. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Caruso against Doncic. Powell, left side, to the inside. Oh, MP with a block. They get it back. Another shot. And it's Doncic missing. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. And the basket by DeRozan. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Pass to Green. Powell against Drummond. Powell passes to Doncic. Shoots over Caruso. Dallas again missing. Here are the Bulls with the ball. They're on a 17-4 run. On the wing, DeRozan. Green covering. And he lobs it up to the rim. 
Impressive. Their ball movement has been excellent tonight. There's 39 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Green. Caruso against Doncic. Dallas needs to get off a shot. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Such great time and defensive awareness, too. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like this, it certainly can change your approach. Chicago has gone two for four from range to start things off. Pass to MP. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. And it's an eight-point Chicago lead. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. You know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. 27. The Mavericks. 19. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. MP is out there with Nikola Vucevic. And then it's Goran Dragic. Then it's Kobe White. And it's Green in at the three, the small forward. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Pass to Bullock. Outside Finney Smith. Launches a three. It's not going to go for him. Now Chicago takes it the other way. And the first season matchup for them against the Mavericks this year. And with this matchup being East versus West, this is the first of... Levine finds Caruso. Back to Levine. Pass to Caruso. To the paint. Here's MP. Powell pulls it in. The Mavericks trailing. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Wizards put on a show. He had 31 points and really hit the boards. Tremendous production in that area as well. He put up huge numbers last time out. We'll see if it's more of the same tonight. Guys? Thanks, Allie. Absolutely. He was a one-man show in that one, Grant. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same mentality tonight. Yeah, you know, every night's different. They may try to double him might force him to adjust or force him to make plays with the pass instead. We'll see. Kicks it to DeRozan. To the middle. Here's Drummond. Good. And it's DeRozan who picks up the assist. DeRozan's got his fourth assist with that last one. Outside. Green. Pass to Kleba. Over MP. That went off the back iron and out. Probably not the shot they had in mind, but you can't fault him. He had a clean look and a different kind of score. DeRozan attempted 741 mid-range jumpers last year, almost 300 more than anyone else. Mavericks foul. Spencer Dinwiddie. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. Inside, here's Drummond. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And the Bulls lead by seven. And Grant DeRozan, high volume from the mid-range and extremely accurate. You know, B.A., he consistently makes about half those shots. And defensively, you know that's his favorite area. But his ball handling and vertical negate anything you throw at him. And the dunk by DeRozan. DeRozan is a man on a mission tonight. I don't know if I've ever seen DeMar any sharper than this. Pass to Dinwiddie. Doncic with it. Give him eight. Now here's Powell. Here's Green. And it's MP with a rebound. MP's got four rebounds now. 
Here's Drummond. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Everything working for them inside so far, guys. Tons of high-quality shots that they're knocking down inside. Uh, we've also seen them tearing it up down in the post tonight. So far, the defense just hasn't had any good answers for them down low. The Sumu, he's checked in for Chicago. Drummond finds DeRozan. MP with it. He's checked by Kleba. Here's MP. It's rebounded by Dallas. They defeated Milwaukee in their last game. And you'd have to think that luck played a part in that one. I mean, the opponent had an off night at the defensive end for sure. Well, I think it was a combination of things, quite honestly, but the defense didn't really offer them a challenge all night. I agree with that. Stolen by Dinwiddie. Here's Green. And it's hammered home by Green. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Pass to Green. Now Kleba. Dinwiddie, right side. A good look from Doncic. Boy, he clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. Doncic has got 10. You know, often once Luka gets the ball, it's all over. It's all she wrote. He's well positioned to finish that catch and shoot. Back to Tsumu. Down low. Here's MP. And this Mavericks team, Grant, they're loaded up on shooters who can hurt you from outside. And that's the way they should be built. Force teams to spread out and give Luka space. And when the Mavs get hot from outside, they are dangerous. The Mavericks making a switch here. Hardaway's checked in. Dinwiddie outside. Back to Doncic. Pass to Powell. Hardaway against Levine. Six to shoot. To the paint. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Let's it go from deep. Offensive rebound, Mavericks. Kleba comes up empty down low. Well, you got to miss sometimes, but that one seemed like a gimme. And that concludes the first half. The Bulls, 55. The Mavericks, 46. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. Big group substitution here for Chicago. MP is checked in for Williams. Green comes in for Vucevic. White, he's checked in for Levine. And Dragic has subbed in for Dosumu. Powell's shot is off. The Bulls have gotten 6 of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. On the court right now for the Mavericks. Manning the backboard, it'll be Doncic and Dinwiddie. Maxi Kleba out there with Dorian Finney-Smith. And it's Powell in at the five. He gets it in there. MP's got 20. And the veteran Dragic, excellent at sensing when one of his teammates is open to shoot. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Dinwiddie passes to Doncic. Five on the clock. They need this. Rebound by the Bulls. MP's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Pass to Drummond. The floater. It's rebounded by Kleba. Kleba's got his fourth rebound in this one. To the inside. And Powell with the stuff. Doncic taking pride in setting the table for his teammates. I love his unselfishness. Outside, Green. Soft touch off the glass. Even with the score as it is, he just keeps coming at you. Well, he only plays one way, and that's um, full throttle, all day, all the time, cold-blooded and lethal. Dinwiddie passes to Kleba. On the wing, Finney Smith. Green covering to the middle. Here's the three. Here's Doncic. Out to Kleba. The three. 
Rebound by the Bulls. No matter what he's tried, it hasn't worked. Unfortunately, the team is suffering from that. Powell against MP. Back to Green. And he's going for the lob. And MP throws it down. Oh, great teamwork right there. Hey, you got to love the finish. Bringing it down with some attitude. I tell you what, I think the pass was even better. I mean, that was room service delivery at its finest. Kleba outside. It's good from the top of the key. Kleba's got his second basket. And the Bulls call time here. So many incredible players, Clark. What elite talent really takes your breath away? Is it passing or shooting, handles, or maybe those high-flying dunkers? Yeah, for me, I think it's seeing the game, and that goes back to passing. Being able to see a player so ahead, that really excites me because not, a, not many players can do that. Scoring, you got a bunch of guys that can do that. Athleticism is actually 13 to a dozen in today's NBA. So I like the vision and passing as the skill that most excites me. Had a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Bulls. Well, you know, for me, when you can convert this many times in the paint, I think that's a sign that your offense is really in a healthy state. Also, they were ultra consistent from outside, hitting a high percentage of those shots tonight. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well, Luka Doncic, an all-star from his second season, and every year he's one of the favorites for MVP. But Luka says, quote, I still haven't won anything, so I've got a long way to go. Brian, if you didn't catch it, team success is the metric. He says the key is to win a championship. Well, he certainly gives him a chance to do just that, Ali. Thank you. And the basket by Desumu. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Over to the left wing. Dinwiddie against Levine. Back to Finney Smith. No one near him. Yes, and a nice assist from Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie's got his fifth assist in this one. Chicago has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Pass to DeRozan. Now here's MP. He's covered closely. Count that one. MP's got 24 points. He's been shooting with great consistency tonight. Love to see that confident play on offense. Fenny Smith with it. Outside Hardaway. Back to Finney Smith. 4-3. And it's Chicago with the board. Drummond's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Levine passes to MP. And we've got 28 seconds left in the third quarter here. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the quarter. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. Hardaway's shot is good. Boy, you cannot let Hardaway Jr. get going like this, guys. I mean, once he's in that rhythm and flow, it's bad news for the defense. They get it back. Drummond. And the jam by Drummond. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers. He represents so much value to this team. What a performance for DeMar DeRozan. He's been the story for Chicago. He put together 10 points in the quarter. Great job moving the ball. Let's keep. The line change here for Chicago. Powell, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Chicago has gone just one of six from downtown in this final quarter. We've got Javante Green. Goran Dragic is out there with Alex Caruso. Then there's Derek Jones. And it's MP in at the five. That's the five out there for the Bulls. And that's just a veteran play. Dragic with the great recognition, running the offense to perfection. Back to Doncic. Pass to McGee. Here's Bullock, defended by Jones. Wing shot on the way. Bullock's shot is off. The Bulls shooting an amazing 61%. Looking confident. Caruso, the pass to MP. 
and the NBA enjoying the highest attendance numbers in the history of the league. Clark, compare the fan experience now to where it was in the 80s when you played. B.A., I don't know if there is any comparison. I mean, when you factor in the popularity of the league now with the various social media platforms that exist, the star magnitude power of the game's biggest stars worldwide, I just think it's a different time. More teams, more exposure, more platforms for exposure, and a real understanding of how to market the NBA globally. So fans have a way of engaging that didn't exist in the early 80s. MP, that one's good. Since halftime, they have been efficient and effective, making Coach very happy. Well, I like the disposition and attitude since halftime. They're patiently looking for good shots. Pass to Hardaway. To the inside. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. That's a jump ball. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. Caruso, the pass to Dragic. And here's Jones. Now here's MP, covered by McGee. Here's MP. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Free throw good, MP. White, he's checked in for Caruso. And that's good as he hits both shots. You know, there was a time years ago when the Mavericks were one of the NBA's shakiest teams. Now they're one of its proudest two franchises. In the game. Two minutes. Here's Penson, defended by Jones. Pass to Nilakina. The shot comes out, and Chicago will go the other way with it. And you can attribute the Mavs' rise to stable ownership and some very savvy front office moves. Yeah, so true, B.A. They've made some great decisions in the draft, for sure. They've been able to find cornerstone players and build solid rosters around them. All right, time for an injury report. Guys, I was able to talk with Chicago's head athletic trainer about his status. It's most likely a sprained toe, if that is the case, a painful injury to have to deal with. The recovery time is still up in the air, but guys, one thing's for sure, a return tonight is out of the question. Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Grant. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injuries that can be so hard to handle. And, you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute, that's really a helpless feeling. Had their fingerprints all over this matchup tonight. Just an impressive victory for the Bulls. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And with this one safely in the books, it'll mark their 23rd win of the year. And they meet just twice, so taking the first meeting means a lot to this team. When it is just a two-game season series, the team winning game one has that slight mental edge going into the second meeting, knowing they've already solved their opponent one time and only have to do it one more time. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for MP. Well, the defense just couldn't figure him out, and he continued to put it to him. At the line for the Bulls. Number 21. The first free throw is good. Two shots. And both free throws good for MP. 27 seconds left in the fourth. To the right side. Here's Nilakina. Pass to Penson. Looking to end the drought. The shot no good. MP outside. And he gets the bucket. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. So no problem for Chicago as they get the win. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight.